Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors. this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. Today we're running the Black Widow, the Warhammer Hero Mac, but you can actually run this build with the normal Warhammer as well. I just chose the Black Widow because, well, you know, it is getting a nice and hefty C builds bonus and you always need to make sure, as a good old Merc, to get all those juicy, juicy C builds into your bank account. Speaking about C builds, there is a Jenna coming up, he's currently fighting against our friendly cicada over there and let's see if we can actually say hi to him in the proper way. He is CT almost open. Come on, come on. Boom. Double tap. Bye bye. <laughs> that was about 60 damage in his face that really really hurt him. Yeah, Inosphere Ultra AC 10s are a nice weapon and should be used a lot more. And by the way team, I need a little bit of help here because <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pushed in now. Wow, okay. The enemy is uh, finding their courage and pushing in on me here on this little ramp in Delta 4. And um, yeah, as you can see, the team is now slowly, slowly, slowly choosing to join me in uh, Delta 5. Um, this is a little bit of a problem always here in Frozen City where teams just uh, don't push in, especially if it is this classic setup of two teams facing each other over the cleft and uh, nobody wants to push. Yeah, the team that pushes normally is the one that actually wins, so, you know, aggression wins, guys. <laughs> I say it too often, I think. Okay, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and join with our Irby here. I don't want to expose up there because, as you could see, the Irby just ate a fistful of uh, SRMs. So I'm just gonna stand down here and aim upwards and try and see if I can find anybody that exposes, like that Aki Cheetah, and then shoot him. At least that is my plan. Um, yeah, our assault makes are a little bit slow. And by a little bit slow, I mean a little bit timid. So they're not pushing in right now. The only choice that I have is literally just hold position and poke. Oh, and this guy is also poking at me. That actually hurt a lot. Wow. Okay, that was painful. So my side torso is not looking so good right now. I'm a little bit hot right now. So let's just go ahead, cool down, hide below the bridge and uh, wait for further skirmishing. And this warm is actually pretty good for that. You can actually put in a uh, slightly bigger engine. You can run about 70 kph and you just deal damage with your four medium lasers. We've got two arm mounted lasers that you can use to shoot down UAVs or track enemies. And the UAC 10s is basically your poking weapon. Now you shouldn't go into like huge fights where you're tanking all the enemy team because the Warhammer is not tanky enough to do that. But to take a little bit of damage like in the beginning, that is perfectly normal, that is perfectly okay and that is what you can do with a Warhammer. You can take a little bit of punishment. Okay, let's see. Team is mopping up, that's the Egermac from before, we got him as well, and it is 4 kills over 2, maybe now we can start pushing in a little bit more, let's see if we can find an enemy right here, yep, we can, let's get the shot out and twist away, twist away our damaged side torso, and let's go ahead and go to the other side. It's a little bit poking and, and, and pushing right now, there's no real concentrated push, unfortunately. But you have to go with the flow here. It would be stupid to just push in on my own and uh, die horribly. I'll just go ahead and uh, stick with the team. The Irby is a little bit too brave right now. I'm gonna shoot them all a little bit as much as I can. But I think the, uh, the Irby is so dead because you just can't survive that. Don't push in against the enemy team on your own. Not even in the almighty urban mech. Okay. Let's see, can we get some shots off on Lima? Oh, and the answer is, whoa, there's lots of targets over here. If I'm lucky, I can get some shots on the Victor. Hello, Mr. Victor. Yep, that was good. His Satos is open, his CT is down, perfect. We can go ahead and shoot a Delta now. Nova is running away, that's good. <laughs> uh, Akichida coming in. He's probably gonna get my side torso because I'm taking a lot of fire right now. Yep, there we go, side torso is gone. Um, as I said guys, don't expose too much, that was too much. I'm running around in the middle right now, there's no cover, not a good spot to be in. That's a mistake on my part. So, I'm just gonna try and push around the left side corner here, maybe get some more damage on that Nova, his side torso is pretty weak, so... One more tap on there should do it. Fire started coming up, fire started going down, Kilo that is a roughneck, he's uh, shooting me with Lurms, okay. And I'm still getting shot by LMGs or something. That's probably still the Cheetah or something. Um, oh, it's a Nova. Okay, well, Delta Nova is gonna go down in a sec now. 
Let's see what else we can find over here. Um, there's a huntsman coming in. If you can see him, he's right behind that building right now. And I see that his leg is open, so let's go on the leg immediately. Double tap, it's gone. And double tap, other leg is also gone. Never skip leg day, guys. And uh, if you see open legs, go for them. They're a prime target. They will go ahead and make the enemy make a lot slower, and then you can take him down easily. So, last target coming up, it is a Roughneck with Lurums, medium pulses. Not too dangerous for me right now, his side torso is open, and light engine check successful. Uh, not that it was easier here for me to go for the side torso instead for the CT, because uh, a little bit less structure on there. So, play smart guys, and don't make mistakes like I did just now. 4 killing blows, 6 assists, 2 solo kills, 4 kill boss damage dealt, 6 coupons destroyed, 611 damage done. This like, wasn't one of the hugest damage games, but it had some good elements in it, some good poking, and uh, it allowed me to showcase a few elements, so let's see if we can do that again. Right now we're jumping into the next map, it is Grim Plexus, a map that was introduced, I believe, uh, over a year ago, and uh, people just love it. Grimplexus is one of those maps that you can see almost every day when you're playing McVoy Online and uh, normally fights kind of center around the uh, Fox 7 area so that is where we're going right now and uh, as you can see the team is pretty much split up right now so we need to be a little bit careful here to not overextend too much on our side especially me because uh, you know me I push W too much and uh, then once we have some good bearings, we'll decide whether we can go yeah, ahead and engage the enemy team or whether we will go ahead and have to reposition again. But that is something that we will have to read from the way that the match actually unfolds here. So we'll just keep moving forward towards Fox 5 and let's see what we can find, if anything. So, team is going on with a little bit of comms, there's a target right between the buildings. Can I mark him maybe, or maybe shoot him through your tents? Yep, there we go. Let's see, yep, he felt that. That was probably like an urban mech or something, it looks like it. Uh, Charlie's summoner up there, but he's a thousand meters away, I can't do anything against him. I'm just gonna go ahead and move towards Echo 5 to try and group up with the assault mech there, because I see large lasers coming from that hill. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to take down a few targets over here. Um, that is provided, of course, it's not the half the enemy team is waiting for us here, but I don't think so. I think this is probably just one or two lone snipers. There we go. ECM Raven, pam pam. ECM Raven gone. <laughs> Never tunnel vision, guys. And uh, I say that so easily, but I'm making that same mistake quite often. Um, if you tunnel vision too much, like sniping for example, you need to be very careful because there's always a chance that enemies are sneaking, uh, sneaking up on you and then, uh, you know, shooting you in the back, or in this case a side torso. And if you're a raven with ear largest, you're probably running XL and you think you're safe with your ECM, but then some guy just walks up to your side and just gives you like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 damage ducker on the side torso and you're done. That fast. Uh, my Assault Mech buddy has finally started to cross Echo 6. It's not that fast though, and I've got a target behind me right now. Oh, okay, that is an assassin. And he's only got AC 10 and 2 medium lasers, but he's still dangerous because A, he's fast, and B, he can shoot me in the back. However, I've got an Osiris buddy with me that's helping out now, so everything should be hunky dory. Okay, let's see. Assault is pushing forward, that's good. The Dark Death Assassin is not looking too good on his leg. Maybe we can take that out. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Leg. Does so he likes his leg? So there's one leg gone, and come on, come on, come on. Second leg gone. Perfect. Okay, let's push in on Bravo, Sun Spider Vanguard. Lots of ATMs and machine guns, but <laughs> somebody's bringing the heat. Flamers incoming. Oh, that Sun Spider is getting thoroughly roasted and uh, chewed up. Hopefully not eaten, because that would be unpleasant. Okay, because eating a spider would be unpleasant, and eating a mech would be even more unpleasant, because it's made out of metal. <laughs> okay, let's go and move on Charlie. Nope, Charlie is uh, already dead, like the team is going to gobble him up. We're just going to move him on the urban mech here on the side. Yep, he felt that one. Now, as you could see, the weapon mounts are actually quite high up on this mech, on the side torso. They're not 
Okay. Extremely high up, but high enough so that you can do some nice shooting and picking. Oh, and speaking of picking, um, I don't know what that Nightjar is doing, but it's dead. <laughs> okay, well, that was easy. Going on the Kit Fox, double tap again. We took out a component here. That's an enemy stalker, that's a bigger and more juicy target. So let's move in into cover here on Fox 7. Go on the stalker. Deal some damage out here, and then oh, suddenly direwolf, and suddenly hunchback to see. Box. Okay, let's shoot a little bit more on Alpha, and mistakes were made. Now I'm shutting down right here in plain sight of a direwolf that has my number, and he just takes me down. Long story short, engage override. And don't shut down in the face of a direwolf that runs for you at 10s. It's that simple, guys. It is that simple. And yep, mistakes happen. But the more mistakes you make, the more times you can see what you did wrong, and the more times you can actually improve. Where you can actually run two LB20s in the okay, hunchback to see is also interesting to me. So maybe, maybe I'll adapt that build. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. Two killing blows, nine assists, two solo kills, four kill most damage dealt. As last round, 704 damage done and seven components taken out. Solid round, I would say, altogether. But as you can see, we unfortunately finished with a stupid mistake that cost my mech's life. The build is on screen right now. Light engine, 285, two UAC-10s, four medium lasers, and the rest is basically just ammo. Although you could throw away like about maybe one or two tons of ammo for a little bit more heat efficiency and that is it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching guys ttb out